Welcome back to a survivor's guide to this war of mine. Today we'll be going over the hotel, the only location in the game to have three possible scenarios at it. These scenarios are the bandits, the harmless lunatic, and the traders. We will go through each of these in turn, starting with the bandits, then moving on to the lunatic, and finishing up with the traders. So, for the bandits, it's worth taking a strong character, such as Roman. You'll also want a shovel and a method for unlocking three doors. I like to take lockpicks, as well as the crowbar, just in case I need to be stealthy at any point. However, you can just probably do it with the crowbar. Now, I'll quickly run through the method that I used for taking the bandits out, and then go over the loot. The first thing you'll want to do, upon arrival, is to remove this piece of rubble. This will give you a quicker way out in case things go badly. Once that's cleared, don't go through the door. There are bandits in the kitchen on the other side. Instead, climb to the top floor and jump across the centre. You can now get to the first bandit, who is actually the guard for their hostage. He has his back to you, so you should be able to get up behind him and take him out with ease. Once he's gone, I like to head downstairs to deal with the rest before freeing the hostage. The next bandit is on patrol, so running loudly on the floor above them will alert them. There is a decent hiding spot on most floors, so make a noise outside one, hide, and then take them out when they pass by. Note that these guys have a few weapons on them that could be useful if you get into a sticky spot. The next bandit is still in the kitchen, so you can use the same tactic to run around above them to get them to come to your hiding place. Do note that they may run up to the next body if they see it, so luring them to a body may be easier than getting them on the way. In this run though, I had to chase them down a bit, but they didn't fight back too hard. With these three gone, you can free the hostage. He'll run across to the left and down, so you don't need to worry about him being hit by the one remaining bandit. This bandit is the most likely to be on the bottom floor, and every so often will go out for a smoke with their back to the door. This gives you the perfect opportunity that you need to take them out. Most of these guys only have knives that it is worth mentioning, so turning up with a gun here is an easy way to deal with them. Note that taking these guys out and freeing the hostage gives your people a small morale boost, so it is a good one to get used to, as you can get morale and a decent chunk of loot from a not so difficult location. Now we go on to the aforementioned loot in this scenario. There is a decent amount of food in their fridge that you can easily take once they are no more. There's also a medicine cabinet which contains a lot of useful things, and mounds upon mounds of resources. Some interesting places to check here are the sofa above the kitchen, and the locked room on that same floor. The sofa contains meds and food, and the locked room has weapon parts, ammo, and a few other interesting items. So now that's the first scenario done, let's move on to the second. The first one was the most dangerous to be honest, we'll move on to the least dangerous now though, the lunatic. For this one you'll need your crowbar and a shovel, as there is no need to be stealthy but there is lots to break into and dig through. The first of these things to dig through are the three piles on the ground floor, but by digging through them you save yourself a lot of time, as the alternative is climbing over the top. There are a decent amount of resources all over this place, but the more interesting things are on the right hand side further up. On the first and second floors you'll find personal property, which you will be punished if you steal. The most important spots are behind the bed and the fridge which have medicine and food respectively. There is one spot though that has some good stuff that you can take without any kind of morale penalty. The locked cupboard above the fridge is locked but contains a decent selection of items, and the cupboard in the top right room there are a few more interesting things. Besides that, there is one more personal property in the top left, which is the medicine cabinet and a lootable corpse in the backyard of the hotel. This is one of the only locations that you can get a fully operational bulletproof vest, so I recommend collecting it while you're here. While you loot, you'll find the lunatic running around muttering things. He is non-violent, so you can quickly go around and loot whatever you want without worrying. And now we have the final scenario, the traders. Unlike the other two, you'll start from the right on this one. I have brought Katja for this as she is the best trader, and brought a few useful items to trade. There are a few items around that you can loot before you reach the traders, but the main loot would be the traders on the first floor. They normally have a decent collection of items and will take most things from you. All of the things in the room with the trader are personal property though, and you would take a morale drop from looting. There is plenty of food in the fridge, and a lot of their tradable goods in the boxes. It may be possible to loot this unnoticed with Arika, but it would require additional tests, I've not been able to do that yet. The rest of the hotel is pretty much just resources though, and you can loot these to your heart's content. It's also worth mentioning that there are some grates on the top floor that you can break through to get to the trader's location. On this vein, you can also take out all the traders and take their items for yourself. By bringing a competent fighter like Roman, you can learn their movements to take them out easily. Start with the guy on the ground floor. There is a hiding place you can wait, and just take him out with no issue. 
Once he's taken out, you can lure the others down. He's the main fighter though, so the other people will just cry over his body. You can then take the trader out by sneaking up behind him while he sits, and take the final guy out by sneaking around until you can get a backstab. This isn't really that useful though, and you can probably sneak in without attacking them. The only hidden things are a bit more ammo and the stuff they are holding. It's not really recommended. So there you have it, the hotel. The biggest and longest location in this war of mine. I hope it helped. If it did, please drop a like and I will see you next time, where we will be going over the small apartment building.